hello friends so now this is the part 2 of purchase master in this video we are going to load the data using edges like you can see here we are going to select when balaji we are going to load the all products of balaji using edges and when you are going to select product according to it we are going to select unit of that product when you are going to select unit according to it we are going to select packing size so these all things we are going to use using gadgets so first of all you can see i open this purchase dot master here in this company name we are going to take one event on change here i am going to pass one function and here this dot value now we are going to create that function So here slip type text char slip function select company and here we are going to save that passing data in this variable company name. Now I am going to pass alert to check we are getting value or not here company name yeah. So now I am going to run this page and now I am going to see the company. Yeah, you can see I got in pop up. I got in alert. It means this is fine up to this. Everything is okay because Edgex is using JavaScript. So if you are getting any problem, you are not getting any error. So you have to check it manually. That's now inside admin folder. I am going to do right click and I am going to create new folder here. New directory. For edges. We are going to store all edges file inside this for edges folder. Now here we have to write edges code that I already written. You have to write this manually. You have to write this. Now here you can see we give your path for edges and now we are going to create this type of file load product using company. So here new PHP file. load product using company i will explain you actually what is this edgets this is the three part in edgets one is for request one is for processing and one is for response so these things are for request this is also for request here you can see we pass page name we created that page this is for process and when we are getting response we are getting response in this variable that variable value we are going to pass inside product name it means here inside this id means we are going to replace this drop down with our new drop down so here you can say i am going to pass company name then here i have to get that so first of all include I have to give connection file that I give already here now. Now, dollar company name. We are going to get that yeah. Now here we have to pass select query. Here I am going to write select star from products where company name is equal to dollar company name then while dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore ph underscore array and then dollar res yeah this is the standard procedure now here i am going to complete php here we need to start selected to generate drop down so select then i am going to give here our class then we are going to give here name then id
yeah now the select is done here now we have to complete here it was less select now here i have to write echo option slash option and in between i am going to write product name and here i am going to write one option only select now i am going to refresh this and now you can see this is the empty first of all i am going to select balaji and here you can see i got tomato wafer it is a product of balaji if i am going to select amul you can see i added one entry for amul milk so i got this now when i change this according to it we need to load this unit so here also we have to pass one function name one change select product here i am going to pass this dot value and from here i need to pass company name so i go so i pass this two value this two value i am going to load here function select product here product name and company name now we are going to check in alert we are getting value or not yeah you can see we got two value now here you can see we pass id product name so here we are going to change this id because otherwise two id will conflict that's why product name div i am going to copy this and this id we are going to use here so it will not conflict now here also we have to use same code so i'm going to just copy paste here we are going to select new file so lord i'm going to give proper name here we are going to pass two value product name and company name is equal to company name and that we are going to fill inside unit so we have here unit drop down yeah this is the unit drop down so i am going to give your name unit div we are going to fill value inside this here we have to write unit div now i am going to create this file we can copy the same code just i copied paste here we need to get two values one is company name one is product name because we are going to load from same table but this all operation will done without refreshing the page 
we are company name and here we have to pass and product name is equal to dollar product name so we pass company name and product name both and now here we are going to change the name select name unit here also we are going to pass name unit right now i am going to delete this we have to pass but right now i remove this and here we have to display unit yeah now we are going to jet so i select amul then i select milk and here you can see i got ml so this is done but now when i am going to select this ml according to it we need to get here packing size whatever we set so here first of all i need to delete this alert now here i need to pass function on change select unit here this dot value we need to pass unit then going to pass product name and here I am going to pass company name so now we have to create this function select unit that I am going to create here we passed three values so we are getting the three values here sequence is most important like you pass here first value this is the unit this is the product name this is the company name so as a first parameter we got the unit second parameter we will got that product name and third parameter we will got company name so here you need to give compulsory on that manner now i am going to check using the alert yeah I got three value this is fine so now again I'm going to copy these things just paste here here we need to change our file name load packing size underscore using unit.php here we have to pass yeah we pass three value one is unit one is product name one is company name and now here we have to change our we have our div for packing size we have to check yeah so here i am going to change name page in size div just copy and this unit we have to check this name id yeah this is fine okay so now here we are going to create new file let me copy file name yeah now i'm going to copy this old code of load unit i'm going to paste here here we have to get unit also this is fine company name product name and we need to pass here And unit is equal to dollar unit this is fine now from this drop down we need we don't need to load anything so here only we need to change
Vacuum size. Yeah, so we will go past. This is fine. Now we are going to check Balaji, then tomato wafer, then grams, 100 grams. So it means this all things we loaded using edges. Now here we have to load party name, but this is only we have to load using PHP. This is very simple. So here we have to check our table name. Our table name is party underscore info. So I am going to party underscore info then while dollar res and now equal option equal slash option and here I need to pass business name This is working fine and here also we are getting party name so this way we can load data using edges now in part number three we are going to save this data thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it share it and subscribe it thank you so much again